Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah. They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Well, there you have it. Our objective is to collect all 14 talismans of Avalar, as well as the orbs. Don't worry, they'll come in later. And use their power to defeat the evil Ripto once and for all. Now, some of the things that have been changed over from the original Spyro are, as you've noticed, there isn't the little ring of circles that were around Spyro's face before. To determine if you keep collecting and defeating the same enemies, you'll be able to get yourself 1-ups. One 1-ups one come a bit differently in this particular game. As you've seen, you can get them by getting those special butterfly glasses, and they will also randomly appear in whenever you take on certain opponents. So, pretty straightforward there. And yes, as you can see, the water does not look poisonous like it did in the first Spyro game. Which means, yes, we can swim. Water does not harm Spyro this time around. There are certain waters and things that we can't swim in, but for the time being, we're not going to worry about them. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately... Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Oh, well, Laura. Check your guide. You are my waifu. Look at you. You are a video game waifu, if I've ever seen the scene one. And the only thing that could make that could possibly ever make me a furry. But that's it. Just that. Sorry, I didn't mean to scorch your fur there, Alora. I'm just excited because I want to play another Spyro game, and we here we are playing another Spyro game. And a good one, too. Which is weird because I never grew up with this one. I only ever p fully played through Ripto's Rage when this collection first came out. I know I mentioned this in uh, the original Spyro LP I did. I know I also mentioned it in the Crash Bandicoot LP I did. But one of the weird things about me... Oh, Hunter's there. I can finish up this story later. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Didn't really need to know that. But for the sake of argument, it's important that I don't have to teach you literally every in and out about playing this game. Uh, but I know I mentioned it in the Crash Bandicoot LP. I know I mentioned it in Idle Springs. That's where we're going to be going in a minute. I know I mentioned it in uh, the Spyro LP, but I was weird with the video games we had on the PlayStation back in the day. We had Spyro 1 and Spyro 3, but not Spyro 2. And then we had Spy and then we had Crash Bandicoot 2, but not 1 and 3. I'm Hi, weird Spyro. like that, I know. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. So yes, this is a test to see if we are good at doing jumps. More hang time. Now this isn't technically a mandatory tutorial, but it's fun to do. Okay, not bad. 
Now, and well, not jump, fun to do, to but it's important to learn button, all of the jumps jump and shenanigans. The top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. And you'll get an orb from it, so there you go. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Oh, sorry about that. Ugh. Oh man, I sneezed all over my freaking controller. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. That's why Let's I looked away. You got. Stupid. Get a walking pleb. start. Jump, no, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge. Whatever. Of the Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when whatever. you hover. Whatever. All right. Land and hover. Perfect. And this will wow, net us the first orb we can get athlete. in Summer Forest. If I hadn't lost my I believe there are. For real. For now, here's an orb for One, your collection. One, two, three, four orbs we can get in Summer Forest. So yes, we will be collecting orbs not only in the main worlds but in the hub worlds as well. So if you were hoping that we wouldn't, well, I've got bad news for you. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice. And look who's here, money bags, just to make my life a living hell. Yay. Yay. Oh, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. That is also important. Sparks has three health points. Yellow means he's healthy, blue means he's somewhat healthy, green means he's unhealthy, and after he hits, gets hit the next, and dis blah, blah. when he gets hit next, he'll disappear. And then if Spyro gets hit even once, it's automatic death. There will be plenty of deaths in this game, Sorry, but probably Spyro. not from Sparkles. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. So, Buttface will not teach us how to swim underwater without 500 gems. Which unfortunately means... We have to go back and go take on one of the worlds. Unless that's going to be 100. Nope, 25, and that was the highest one we'll be able to get in this game. And we're still 92 off. So, I guess it just means we're going to be heading to Idle Springs. The first world here at Avalar, besides Glimmer. And one of the things, I almost forgot about this, one of the things that's funny about Crypto's Rage is the fact that every single time you go to a world, they have their own unique cutscenes for them. And it's only in this game, too, because it's not in Spyro 3 and it wasn't in Spyro 1, so... At least I find it somewhat interesting. As you would expect, this is a tiki idol thing, world, land, thingamajigger. And yes, there's water, but we cannot go underwater yet, so we'll just be floating. Now you can defeat the tiki head here, guide things here. One of two ways, but since I have the glitch way, I'm going to use the glitch way. Why? Because, well, I, I can't, and I feel like it. Uh, okay. I don't really care about your problems, but I if it means I get to kick the crap out of some bad guys and collect gems, I'm a happy dragon. So let's go. Now, we are going to have to come back here after we learn how to swim, obviously. So Is he hitting his head with a hammer? Why? Why are you doing that? What? 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 Buddy? D d d are you okay? Are, are, do, do you need help? Um, okay. Um, the large tiki's can get taken out with fire. The small tiki's get taken out with charge. But since we have the super flame breath now, uh, we don't really need to worry about doing charge unless the op- the- opponent literally needs us to use a charge. In fact, honestly, I think the biggest challenge of this LP, now especially with the glitch thing that we have, is going to be the fact that... Alright, you're not hitting your head, so that's good. 
Those metal hey, shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press Oh, come on, I just said that. You can defeat them with your Zoe, attack. why you got to be like that, girl? As long as I get gems to collect, I'm a happy dragon. Which is the name of a Chinese food place right around here. I'm sure it's probably the name of like a dozen Chinese food places here in here in the U.S. of A. And I blew up the wrong. I shot at the freaking tiki guy. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to shoot at the bad guy. These guys bash their own heads in with hammers. else I missed a couple of gems over here and he broke the thing open for us which is nice I think that's everything over here unless no that is everything all right perfect what 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 why 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 do you do this don't you realize your head's gonna hurt? Ugh, I don't. I don't even anymore. I'm trying to get logic in a world where. Ugh, I, to aim the camera know. left or right, use the right stick. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't hit your head there, buddy. Thank you. And you boom. Yeah, I honestly think the biggest challenge of this game is going to be making sure we don't miss anything. Because with the super flame breath, I honestly don't think Ripto stands a chance. Not going to lie. I feel kind of invincible right now. Alright, we still got a few places left to explore, including to get a few orbs, which I believe we can get one of them. We can't get the other one yet. Because we need to dive underwater to get the next one. But we can get this one if we've defeated enough enemies, which I believe we have. Yes, we have. Perfect. Alright. That's a supercharged portal, which, if you remember in the first game, was a big part of the... Was it the third world? Magic Crafters? Yes, Magic Crafters. Where you could run around and shenanigan eyes, you know? But we can't really do that now, and our flame breath will not do anything to this tiki guy, so we'll have to find a be better way to beat him. Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. I mean, I'm sure I can handle this guy, but we'll play by their rules. Supercharge and run through all six of these in one shot. And there you go. They'll sing and do a hula dance, and I'm pretty sure this guy's about to die. Yep, Ego Kaputski. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Well, thank you, Hula Girl Stella. Can definitely use the orbs. They are important to me. Well, me directly? Not particularly, but... To 100% completing this game, yes. And, and Lord knows I have attempted to 100% complete this game quite a few times since the whole world went on fire last year. Heck, I did an LP of this in, like, May-ish, and then I did another one in flippin' July, and then my external hard drive died, and then all the other shenanigans I had to do. And boom, ba boom ba boom ba boom And you two, and we can keep going, which is awesome. Look at all these gems we're collecting, and how most of them are going to end up going to frickin' money bags when we're done. Alright. We're going to fly, and let's see where you blow 
load up, and I lost the gem. Ah, crap. Well, I'm not getting that gem anytime soon. Alright. I made a mistake. So we're just going to have to go back and... Okay, good. He's not hitting himself anymore. We're going to just have to go back and... Uh... Come back and do this again at some other time. Make sure we get the talisman, though. That's that's kind of important. Just a wee bit important there, Lassie. Alright. And up we go. And up we go. And up we go. Why? Why do you guys keep doing this to yourselves? Stop it! Stop well, it! You're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. I don't know why they want to keep hitting themselves. It's just wrong. But we got a talisman. And there's still a few more gems we can collect, if I'm not mistaken, before we head home. Why? Knock it off! You gotta stop. Yes, there is a few more gems we can get. Okay. Just a handful. The rest we can get later. Because if you head out this way, you'll be spit out right at the beginning. And trust me, nobody wants that. I mean, unless you enjoy me running through empty levels over and over again since I've defeated all the bad guys. But whatever. And... As there is a cutscene to begin each world, there's also a cutscene to end each world. And generally speaking, it's kind of comedic. Look at him. He's cooking his hot dog. Good tiki guy. Alright, we are back. After a brief hiatus of loading times. All right, money bags. Here's your freaking money. Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? Waste I of oxygen. I teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Five hundred is a small fee, my ass. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Odds are you are probably not going to be using the paddle that much. When you're underwater, you're going to be using the charge. If you want to move fast, at least. After that, well, then the rest is on, the rest you're on your own for. Ordinarily, you would also not be able to breathe fire underwater, but if you have the super flame breath like I do, because this game is glitchy as hell, you can basically break this game and complete it in about... I'd say about 25% less time. And with the ability to swim underwater, we can go into the castle if we want. But we still have another portal out here to a world we have to take care of, as well as what we have to take care of in Idle Springs. And a few other things we have to look for when it comes to... I almost said snowing. When it comes to swimming. I'm looking forward to being able to swim this summer. That's one of the big things I missed about being, with the world being on fire. Alright, let's see. Since we got an underwater cavern here, guess what? That means we can swim underwater. We can't on, obviously, low levels of water, but we can on, we can on places like this where there's caverns. And who knows, this might lead us to something extraordinary. Right and up, beat up, and up, 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 don't worry, kitties. But first, we gotta go back to Idle Springs.
And every time, naturally, that you come back to one of these worlds, you have to flip it. Come back and, you know, shenaniganize. Oh, I mean, you know what I mean with the freaking cutscenes coming back. Every time you go into the world, the cutscene will come back. So I guess, I guess that's probably why they didn't bring him back, but still, I found it kind of amusing. I do like these cutscenes. Alright. Now we're going to take on the first orb challenge here. In a moment, once I make sure I didn't miss any gems. Which I don't believe I did. And that is all the gems. Perfect. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Now, the tricky thing with this puzzle is whenever you land on one of these blocks, the two adjacent lights will turn off. So basically what you have to do is fly and make sure you don't touch any specific blocks that are next to each other. Or else you'll screw yourself over. I know you could do it. Now, that's probably the hardest challenge here. Just follow what I did and you'll be fine. The next challenge is incredibly easy unless you got an itchy trigger finger. And the third challenge is also exceedingly simple. Especially since you don't get hurt for failing these challenges and... How the hell did you already get out here? hungry. It won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Now, you can only feed the idol yellow and blue fish. If you feed him any red fish, he will spit up any of the most recent fish that he's digested. And, wow, they're throwing a lot of red fish at us. I'm going to do my best to get this all in one shot, because you do get a trophy if you can get it all in one shot. And I don't believe I have it yet. I have it on the Xbox, but I don't have it on here. So let's see, that's eight, nine, and ten. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle. Oh, I go. guess I already I'll did meet you have over it by the here, colored then. stones for your final challenge. <laughs> oh well. No big deal. Now unfortunately, the last puzzle is by those colored shape area things where you had like the star and the crescent moon and stuff. So that means we gotta go through the chunk of this, a huge chunk of this level, again, just to take on enemies. But hey, could be worse. And get rid of you. And since we don't have any gems to collect, watch them break through the gate. And please don't hit yourself in the head with a mallet. It is not safe. Or pleasant. And I gotta wait for him. Because apparently my super flame breath does not destroy locks. But it does destroy enemies. And it will eventually destroy them too, but whatever. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the last puzzle of this is kind of challenging but not at the same time. Star Star is a given. Then the square. And next up, if I'm not mistaken, should be this crescent moon. And then the next crescent moon, which didn't go down, which is weird. It should go down when I do that. So let's try this again. Star, and then the square, crescent moon, other crescent moon, there you go, and that'll get the last of the Great treasures, job, Spyro. 
You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have and to this guy's being this racist, I found in our which seems to be a thing among construction workers, but I digress. That's all of the orbs we can get, all the gems we can get, and we are 100% done with Idle Springs. And with that 100% completion, let's head back to Summer Forest. The easy and quick way this time. And yes, all the cutscenes continue to play. And we've got a few more gems now, so be happy. Ha 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 ha. Huh. 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 Alright. I think that's pretty much all the time we'll be able to have. It's a very awkward amount of time I've got on here. Don't know how I'm going to split this up, but... Oh, well, that's a problem for future me to handle. Because next time on Spyro Ripto's giant temper tantrum... Make sure I don't miss any gems. I don't believe I did. You did not. Good. Because next time on Spyro and Ripto's tantrum, we are going to be heading to Colossus, the next big area of the game that we can get orbs and gems and talismans from. All of which to defeat a tiny little rhino man. Cause I think that's what Ripto's is. Oh well, who cares. Until we meet again, my lovelies, Asaya freaking Nara. <laughs>